Well, the summer heat has left us now and the fall is finally here. It is the middle of November and we're just now getting the warning for our first freeze. So I am out here trying to make sure that any tender plants are covered and making sure all the animals have the proper shelter that they need to stay safe and warm. The chickens have shelter here and in the form of the houses. The cows have shelter back there. Uh, the pigs have their shelter right behind here and also off on the other side of these trees. The goats have their regular shelter that they've had for the past winter. So I think everything is A-OK -okay and good to go. We'll give them a little extra hay for bedding down into, but it's not gonna be too cold. It's only gonna go down to probably 30 at the lowest. So still not super cold, but cold enough that we've pulled out the frost fabric. Some plants here that are tender, protected um, citrus and bananas and such. So. The funny thing is, is that I have tomato plants that did not get planted that are tucked into this same area. So they're inadvertently getting protected. And look at that, they've got fruit on them. So maybe I'll collect those green tomatoes to make a salsa with. Green tomato salsa is not like a traditional salsa. It's really tart. So I usually cut it with something fruit that is sweet. These tomatoes here out in the garden are also gonna be collected before the cold. The kale and other cold hardy plants will be fine without protection. So they can stay out here without any frost fabric at all. Even our young beets and carrots. We have lots of weeds in the garden, as I've mentioned in videos before this year that I just haven't had a chance to garden at all. So I get some stuff planted. These carrots, almost to the size where I think I should pull some, but I'm gonna keep them out here because I actually prefer them after they've gotten some cold. You see there's a lot of radish mixed in with the carrots that I never did pull. So I might take a few of those to roast for tonight's dinner. My dear friend Robert at Daybird Aviaries likes to argue with me that peas don't grow in the south. I beg to differ, Robert. Not only did I grow them this spring, but I also am growing them this fall. So maybe I need to come over to your house and plant some for you. One of my bonus plants that I love that's just coming in is this lovely weed called chickweed. We eat it as salads, you can put it in a smoothie, raw, cooked, any way you like, it's very nutritious weed. Like to learn more about using chickweed, just look up my Foraging Friday playlist and you'll see that there's a chickweed video there that will help you identify chickweed and ways to use it. I imagine that this blackberry patch that we have over here is going to turn darker and darker as the temperatures drop the leaf color gets darker and darker. So these are our thornless blackberries. And then there are some wild native blackberries that we didn't get all of the roots out of that are growing up in here in just this side of the bed, up there where the asters are growing up out of the bed. And there's some goldenrod growing up out of the bed. This raspberry bed goes all the way to that cedar, but it's all, uh, thornless in that end. Come here. Come here, sweet kitty. This is a stray kitty that's been spending more time at the edge of my property. It usually stays over. Oh, no. It's kind of scared of us. Usually it stays at Miss Elsie's house and she feeds it. But, ha. Huh. This one right here and her sometimes fight. So that's probably why she just ran off. It's because my kitty came up checking. What are you doing, mom? I hear you talking to another kitty. Jealous. So while I didn't get the garden of my dreams this year, cause I had the baby of my dreams instead, I am okay with what we do have. And I'm going to go ahead and protect these tropical fruit that are gonna be going into our food forest 
and get them so that they'll be okay. I went ahead and added an extra layer of frost fabric to these more tender tropicals. They were supposed to be going in my greenhouse right now, but my greenhouse is not set up yet. I have not moved it here yet. We've run into some complications on getting it transported. So we're working through those details now. Hopefully it'll get resolved soon and we'll get it over here set up and be able to house our tropical plants through the winter. But because it's not ready yet, that means we have to get everything ready to go through the winter without it. So I'm gonna set up another area on the screen porch that will be protected. What's that, Liam? I've got you some sunflowers. Oh, thank you. Those are dandelions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I love dandelions. Oh, they smell good. I love dandelions. Thank you, buddy. And I found some quartz. Ooh, I love quartz. It's so pretty. Pretty dirty. Pretty dirty? Yeah. Go wash it. Okay. So we're just going to cover our screen porch with this plastic and they should stay pretty safe inside of there. Some of you may be wondering why Ryan isn't helping me. Unfortunately, he has been down with the fever for the past week. Uh, there is no sign of any infection. He's just fighting a virus. Uh, he's passed the home test for the rapid test. He's, he's clear of the vid. but. He's just got a fever and he's feeling crummy. So he's gonna stay inside, keep Odin busy so that I can actually get something done. This would be a lot easier with two people. And I know that, but I know that it's gotta get done. And sometimes you just have to do it on your own. Lucky for me, I do have Liam out here. So if I need him to fetch me anything, he can uh, go and fetch it for me, right? And if I need help or if I fall from the ladder, you can go get help, right? <laughs> You're gonna protect me? Yeah. Good job. Don't touch me. What do you know you're you're gonna shock me, aren't you? Ah! <laughs> it didn't shock me. Um, what are you doing with the water anyway? I'm covering the screen porch with plastic so that our plants will stay safe from the cold. He's such a good helper. So once I get done, I'm gonna have to go in there. I can see there's some damage on that plant there, that one there. That aloe is almost a little bit too red. So I'm gonna have to go in there and pull things away from the edge so that they won't get damaged from being in contact with the screen. Luckily, this plastic that I'm using is tall enough that I won't have to use more than one layer. If I did, I would do my bottom layers first and then the top ones overlapping so that water would shed off and not go in towards the house. I've actually never used one of these before. I'm a little, in, a little intimidated, but a little excited at the same time. Can you blame me? So cool. And I just wanna say thank you to one of our wonderful friends and subscribers that was able to gift us this off of our wish list. If you're wanting to send us something, go ahead and check out the Wholesome Roots wish list. I'll leave a link down in the comments. All right, so I don't know how good you can see here because I'm in the shadow and it's bright out. But the first couple of staples, I grouped together quite a few and I folded the plastic on the side and on the top to give an extra double layer of protection for where I'm going to be stapling so it won't pull loose as easy. So I'm just going to go along the top here pulling it as flush to the ceiling as I can and stapling it as I go.
finding that the tack nails that the lights are hung on are helping me because I can hook it over the nail and it kind of holds it in place while I staple. So nice bonus of having those awesome solar lights up. So I just got to go across here around the corner to the door and then the door is going to be a separate cut and then there's a skinny piece on the other side of the door that'll be a separate cut as well. funny because while I'm preparing for this wretched freeze <laughs> it's hot out here so I am almost done I'm going to finish this up and then go in and see if I can make some dinner yesterday I made some wonderful from scratch chicken soup with lots of ginger and turmeric and horseradish and garlic added to it to help with Ryan's sickness and we made it from some of our own roosters that we harvested here on the farm and it was really delicious so it's gonna be hard to top that gotta get creative tonight what can i what can i make tonight i'd love to make another soup but i didn't prepare for it all day like it took for the last soup so hopefully tonight i can come up with a good idea for a dinner to help him feel better i don't think it looks half bad i mean it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to, to be quite honest. I was actually considering carrying all of those plants into the house and squeezing them into every square inch that I could. But I already had to bring all the plants off the front porch into the house. Those are my big plants. Um, and they are in our bedrooms now. And they are really enjoying that. I'm really enjoying that, I should say. I don't know if they are, but it's nice having those gigantic tropical plants in the house but hopefully next winter we'll have a tropical greenhouse set up for all of the big plants to get even bigger for now this is going to keep everything from freezing and it keeps it well protected so that we won't have to worry about them when the frost gets too cold pretty glad i didn't plant a flower bed here because that's what i was planning on doing um there's some really hardy perennials that are already here, day lilies, um, hurricane lilies, and some four o'clocks. And luckily those tolerate being stepped on. So that makes me think that it's a good thing I hadn't planted a garden here. I was gonna put flower bed in right here, but because of the possibility of needing to do maintenance on this screen in the future, it's probably a good idea if I leave this area with just the super hardy stuff that doesn't mind getting stepped on when I have to work on it. So I'm glad I figured this out now and not after planting stuff. Guys, you're not gonna believe it. I was able to pull it off and I literally did not have to make another cut in the plastic. The leftover was enough to cover the door and then there was a thin piece that I was able to cut in half and put on that last little section. Perfect. Oh my gosh, y'all, it is already hot in here. But the good news is, is we have a way to vent it. Window here in the laundry room, we have a box fan that fits side to side that we can pull the air out. Let's have the screen door propped open on the hot days. And we can also put a heater in there to warm it on the super cold days. So I just got to get them cleaned up and watered because I let them dry out a lot in order to be able to move them into the house. But now that I'm not moving them in, they really need a drink. And so do I. I'm going in for a cup of coffee.